Welcome back to Answers Excel Academy. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to reconcile two tables of data in Power Query within Microsoft Excel. So here, as you can see, I have a manual SKU count, and then I have electronic SKU count, and I have um, multiple rows of data. And what I'd like to do, of course, is match these SKUs and determine the difference in the counts of manual counts and the electronic counts. So for example, for SKU ABCD1234, I would want to find it in this database here and find what the count was. And if it's different than this manual count of 704, I want to determine what that difference is. So at the end of the day, I should have a data reconciliation table that looks something like this, which shows me a match or a no match and the difference as well. So we're gonna be using uh, Power Query to help us achieve this uh, end outcome. So the first thing you want to do is you wanna make sure your data is in table format. Uh, mine's is already in table format and I've also named my tables uh, electronic and manual. So as you can see, they're both named and this is going to be very useful when you actually load them into, into your Power Query because if they're not named, you're gonna have some confusion uh, in those further steps. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to load them into Power Query. I'm gonna click on this button within the data tab. Um, this is loading data from table or range. So currently I, I'm clicking on the manual table. I'll click over here and that's gonna bring it in Power Query Editor. And once this loads up, all I want to do is close and load, close and load to, and only create a connection and I'll press OK. And I want to repeat the same process for the second table. And as you can see, we have both of these tables loaded on into our Power Query. Now I'm going to pick whichever one of these tables. Let's pick the electronic table and I'm going to go into our left click here and I'm going to reference it. OK, and this is going to create kind of a copy of this table. Um, and once that's created, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open up this reference table. As you can see, it's open up in Power Query. And I'm going to append it with my manual table, okay? As you can see, this is a copy of my electronic table. So I want to append it with my manual tables. So I'll go into Append Queries and I will append the manual table to this as well. Okay, so now instead of about 100 rows that this has, it has 200 rows because it's two tables, each with 100 rows, okay? Um, now the issue here is that we have, of course, a whole bunch of duplicate values, okay? Um, because again, some SKUs that were in the manual table are also in the electronic table. So there's a whole bunch of duplicates in here that we need to remove. So I'll go ahead into remove rows and I will remove the duplicates. Now you may be wondering about the count here. So it's kept the count for the electronic um, electronic table. So whatever the count was for the manual table is now gone, okay? Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to merge queries and we want to merge the manual table with this table over here. So what I'll do is I'll go into merge queries and I will select merge here and I will merge this with our manual table here. And I want to compare the SKUs of both, uh, both of the tables. Okay. And once I've done that, I will go ahead and click on OK. And then I'll click on these arrows here and I want to, um, I want to uh, return the SKU as well as the count. And there's a reason I do this. It's because of an error that I've noticed in Power Query. So in order to kind of override or mitigate the error, I'm going to keep both of these selected and press OK. And as you can see, the electronic table had SKU this HIJK5678. And it determined that the count of that table of that SKU was 281 units. And the manual SKU also found this, the manual table also found this SKU 
and the manual count for this SKU was 774 units instead of 281. So as you can see, that's a quite a drastic difference, okay? Um, and we want to make sure that we're able to account for this difference. So in order to do that, let's add a custom formula, a custom column. And within that column, let's do a count, which just double click it, minus our manual count, and we'll press OK. And we get the difference, as you can see. There are some units which have a significant difference in what was found electronically and what was counted physically, okay? As you can see, this has a difference of over about 600 units. But there are some units which also have a match, okay? So for example, as you can see, uh, SKU YZAB5678 was 599 in our electronic and also 599 in our actual count, which means it had a difference of zero, okay? Now, once we've calculated this difference, I'm going to stop here in, in Power Query. We can continue on and we can create like a match or a no match, that kind of column as well. But I'm going to stop here. And what I'll do is I will go into close and load and I will simply close and load. So I'm going to left click it and I'm going to select load two. And I want to actually load it in a table format into my existing worksheet right over here. And we'll press OK. And as you can see, that returns to us the table. And the next thing we'll do is we'll simply add a row that kind of determines if um, if the manual and the electronic units match or if there's a difference. So we're simply going to write the equal sign and then we're going to write down if this is equal to zero, then give us a match. And if not, then just give us a big no in large caps. And we'll press enter and as you can see we can drag that down and we only have a couple matches um, but that kind of uh, shows us which which uh, rows are matching and which are not now we can simply go ahead rename this column and we can call it match question mark and now we can actually come over here select this entire column go into conditional formatting and into highlight cells rules and equals two and if the cell equals to no then we wanted to give it a right light red fill so we'll press enter and if the cell equals to a match then we're going to go back here into highlight cells equals to uh, match then we want to give it a green color like so so as you can see now we've added the conditional formatting as well so now you can kind of see within a glimpse which ones are matching and which ones are not. And we can, to make things easier, what we can do is we can hide all of these columns. So now you can simply see the SKU and whether there's a match or there is no match at all. So that's how you can use Power Query to reconcile data, especially large data sets in Excel. I hope you found this video valuable and thank you for watching.